All right, so I was just like uh, updated, updated the system and I got the hand tracking. So if you want to see how it works, see. Basically, uh, after doing the tutorial, you just can switch between your hands and the controller. So let's see how it works here. So basically, it's kind of like, I'm kind of surprised that it works really well. It doesn't work like, like amazingly fast because when you like fastly do something, I mean, it's still pretty well. Like it tracks like amazing. Uh, you, you like when you pinch, you slide the things and when you pinch one time, it kind of like goes as a trigger. Basic stuff, right? Uh, you know, I. it's cool that they pushed out this before Christmas because obviously <laughs> it's gonna be another selling, uh, selling thing for people if uh, they still are considering uh, if they should buy Quest or not. This is gonna, just gonna bring more sales before Christmas, so they are pretty smart in doing that and pushing that earlier. Uh, if we're talking about the gaming aspect of that, I think I already made up an opinion about that and it's just that I I appreciate the feature and stuff like that, but if we are talking about from the gaming perspective, I don't see hand tracking in a really major form of controlling things in games yet, like at this point, maybe in like, I don't know, let's say two years maybe. Uh, because when you have a controller, you have many buttons to pr press, like so you can design uh, more controls for the game, right? Uh, but like if you have just like basic stuff like pinch stuff and like hold and maybe like on some fingers, right? I guess some menu could be fine, but odd, like purposefully for other things than browsing like the internet, just, I don't know, just doing some basic stuff. For me, I still would be more comfortable with controllers just because I feel like it's more solid. And obviously it's not a really like, the response time from a controller is instant because that's just how works, right? The system from hands, there are layers of um, reading uh, the controls, right? It's from, through the cameras and through your hands. So you have uh, already two la layers. The third layer is to just like read by the system, by the processor. From the controllers, it's just that you press and things are doing, right? So it's really still in an early days of that feature uh, but you know this is the future so that's fun that they are challenging themselves <laughs> uh, yeah anyways let's just go back to the controls and just go back to the game <laughs> what the hell still no signal hmm, do they change frequencies that's it. It's them. Who are you? Sunfer. I've got the upgrades ready for your scanner. Uh, what are you doing over here? Just, uh, I'm just trying to contact the humans again. Why aren't you using the comm station? There's been no response for a while. So, I'm using my portable unit to triangulate incoming gamma signals. Right. Fine, just come by my station when you want the upgrade. So with the uh, hand tracking update, there were some bug fixes or like just stability improvements for Link. So I'm looking forward to that because each half an hour my like Link resets and just like crashes completely to the point that I need to restart the headset. It's annoying to record stuff. But hopefully, uh, more stability it will be now. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let's just continue with the game then. Look at this beauty. You see that? Vesper, check it out. 
Looks like a regular arm, right? Right. But watch. A shield. A Whoa! Shield right into the arm. I'm gonna call it the... Uh, the Give me! Uh, okay, well, I'm still working on a name. I mean, I love dual building, but... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry. Still getting the kinks out a bit. It's this new alloy you found. Weird stuff. Powerful, adaptive, and almost has a mind of its own. Never seen anything like it. I'll keep experimenting. See what else I can make with it. So I guess he finished it by now, right? Because we're in the future. Hey, Nix. Cypher, come over here quick. Look at this. That's it. A plant growing in the mod station. Here, I'll clear. Oh, up she doesn't have the no, flowers no, still in her chest. It's not just growing in the casing. It's actually fusing with the circuitry itself. All the more reason to clear it out. Riggs, something incredible is happening here, and all you can think of is destroying it. Vesper, you understand, don't you? Look, oh, it's fine. Turn hey, the dude. <laughs> into a planter for all I care. I've got gear to build. If I were you, I would let it grow. It's here for a reason, just like us. Is this the villain? It seems like it. What's behind these flowers and flora and fauna? Give me. Remember that strange plant you found? The one growing right out of an alloy Yeah, deposit? I can see well, it. I planted it right over here. And now look at it. Wait, but you already has one. Super weird, right? It's probably just a reaction to my bioelectric field, but... I don't know. I had Riggs try it, and nothing happened. Hmm... But wait, it gets weirder. When the bud first opened... A seed popped and drifted toward me. Right. It lodged right here. It almost felt intentional, like the seed wanted to be closer to me. Then the seed sprouted, and the plant just keeps getting bigger. I don't think it's dangerous, exactly, but I have a weird feeling that it's more than just a plant somehow. Of course. <laughs> what do you think? Should I go to the gardens and ask Eco? So Ico knows then the thing we brought. You were close to them, weren't you? Right. Oh shit. I didn't mean to sound surprised. Of course you were. There is one last memory I need you to see. It was your last one before base camp was destroyed. Go to the base camp gate when you are ready. Well, let's see. So what really happened? Yeah, was that thunder? But underneath that, there are voices. Vesper, stay back. There's something wrong. There it is again. Whoa, like what's thing there? An Arcus? Whoa! It's not an Arcus. It's not from here. Can you look up? Uh, yeah, thank you. Stand. Bam. Everyone back! And they just died. What's that? Oh, a plant. So I was just like chilling here. Hey. <laughs> well, fuck me then. Yeah, and that's how we got here. So I have already a plan. For what it's worth, it appears they were alive when they were taken. When you are ready, please return to the comm center. I may have a way to find Nix. Hmm. Okay. Up. 
Sprint mal dir. Press the joystick and move. Hell yeah. In your memory, it looked as if a sea transferred to you from Nyx. Yeah. Whatever was happening to Nyx may now be happening to you. I need to conduct a quick scan of your systems to be sure. I'll be waiting at the comm center where you plug me in. What's there? Oh, shit. Suggestion. Oh, hello. System status. Alloy collected. Some little secrets. Holy shit, with this sprinting, it's gonna be crazy. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. Hold still, the scan will only take a moment. <laughs> yes, as I suspected. The plant growing inside you has all the same characteristics as the one that was in Nyx. It has grown deep into your systems, fusing with your neural core, somehow repairing it. This plant emits a very subtle but distinct pattern of electromagnetic radiation. It's got complexity, structure, layers, Ooh. almost resembling the patterns of human brainwaves. It's so unique. I think I can scan the Stormland and find a matching frequency. This may take some time. Meanwhile, I found a couple of things in the camp that will be useful. Please visit both the locations I've marked on your compass. These items may be essential to your survival. More modules. was able to restore power to the solarium doors. Go ahead inside. Oh? There's an index unit here. Nix must have been using it to collect data on the Stormland. You should take it. Index. The data is likely to prove valuable. The Stormland index also connects you to important base camp records. Take a look for yourself. Point pan upwards. Wait, <laughs> I don't know. Ah, okay, like that. Open the index. Ah, okay. That's kind of like, oh, index, so like things. For example, if I would be confused about something about the story or like anything, guns in general, devices, whatever, I can just go back to it and see what's up. Great. <laughs> And show the shield, right? Upgrades have recently been added to the workbench. What's this? This may mean we're not alone out here after all. What was that? That shield bracer oh, wait. seems useful. And it looks like you have enough alloy to fabricate it. Mm. I've updated your objective logs with a reminder to build the shield bracer. Hmm, so with additional modules, if we will find or not, we can also craft them. Modules, but maybe even weapons in the future. Great. I hope Riggs managed to work out the kinks with this shield bracer. According to the notes, it pulls energy from your internal systems and recharges after taking a certain amount of damage. Hmm. Hold down the trigger to project the shield. As it absorbs damage, the energy field depletes, but it yeah. will recharge over time. Great, will be useful maybe in, in some boss scenarios or like if I will have just one weapon, but mostly I will just run around with two, right? I can probably shoot like uh, through that, right? My scans of the Stormland are complete. I located one very faint signal that matches Nix's plant. It's in the SciCAD stratum, high above base camp. I'm afraid there's no guarantee Nix is still alive. And if they are, Why? they may not have much time left. I'm, I mean, they kind of died with this the grenade, so... Prepared for you. Take it to the SciCAD stratum when you are ready. Thank you, Vesper. This will be a difficult task. 
but it's our only hope of finding Nyx. Of course. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> so, uh, I guess which one? Ah, uh, I only have two, so yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm crouching. Maybe my uh, floor is set up wrongly, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. See that tower? Wow. The humans called it the Spire. Some of them thought it was older than the planet Avalon itself. It was the reason they came here. They thought it held some mystery. Perhaps the Tempest are here for the same reason. Okay. We got lucky. No Tempest at the landing site, at least. I'm uploading the coordinates of the signal to your compass. Just remember, if Nyx is there, the Tempest oh, will be too. To take on the Tempest, you'll need any tactical advantage you can get. I advise you to collect alloy and fabricate upgrades at the workbench. These may save your life. The Stormland has a range of unique and curious alloys that grow from the ground and exist in no other place. I've updated your index with additional data. Look around the area for alloys. If you see any, try shattering it with your hand laser. I already know that one, Nick. <laughs> Echo, come on. Um, so where should we go? There. Woo! Okay. Some more there. Some of our scouts were testing new equipment in this stratum before the Tempest struck. I haven't been able to reach them since the attack. Oh, let's go to this little island, options. maybe. I've marked their last known locations on your compass. Here. Look at the back of your left hand to check your compass. It shows the location of the signal we're tracking. Huh. I'm assuming this game, just like Asgaraf has like side quest or like side... Uh, stuff to do. What's that? Is this alloys too? Good. Ah, okay. Alloy whenever you see it. It's like an alloy or growing in each stratum of the stormland. Ah, okay. Shiny stuff. Oh, I have like little marks. Vesper, those spinner Whoa. movies should give you a speed boost if you get close to them. Whoa! Done. Pass through several in a row to reach even higher speeds. Okay. So there's... Okay. Ah, so there was a long workbench there? Well... Hmm. It seems like in this capsule. Oh yeah, here. Whoa! Shit! What the hell? Shoot me! Wait, I don't see you. You're up there? Ah, shit. I'll come to you, bitch. Ah, goddammit. 
Give me the gun. Shit. Ah, uh, some. Oh, shit. Give me the gun. I guess that's something. Yeah, okay, well... Yeah, like open world as fuck, like... Okay, uh, I guess same with Asgareth, you should focus on like main objectives and like side quests will be I guess other stuff right here. Yeah, lost operator, lost cartographer. You, we can do that like when I will finish the game, but we'll focus on the main story obviously. So we're right. Whoa! Shit! Fortunately, colliding with them will slow you down. Okay. Felt like he might be here. God damn it. Huh? See you. Oh shit! Oh god damn it. Let's go under or something. I'm dying! Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> and we're at the start of something, with a workbench also. Oh! I can craft like weapons? Yeah, that's what I was like looking forward. Oh, health canister, blast grenade. Okay, so we will upgrade Kate 1, just in case. Because I know I can store it on my chest. And weapon. Refuel. Oh, refuel health, refuel ammo. Yeah, 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 great. Sleet, FSMG. Shotgun. I love shotguns. 500. Yeah, okay. So it's not like I have to throw away the weapon. I can just like fabricate the ammo. Like, how much is it? Oh, it doesn't cost anything? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Or, wait, I'll shoot once. How many is 11? And now refill. Wait, no, not half. And ammo. I don't think it costs, so... Great. Okay, back to the business. Okay, well, yeah, I love shotgun. I mean, that's just my type of weapon. It's 
crazy that I can like climb anything in this game. Like basically we can go anywhere we want. <laughs> Fuck. To the top. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, okay, let's go to the main objective. Oh, or we can just go there. <laughs> Wait, let me shoot him from the tower. <laughs> Great! Wow, what's that? Is it my shotgun? No, but it seems fun. Or like, is it like to snipe? Can I store more weapons or something? No. I will save them. Okay, we're going somewhere, I don't know. I think it's like more fun to just like jump around islands but like from a high high point then because I can see everything. It's like crazy uh, to just jump around and just like travel. It really feels like an open world even though we are kind of like teleporting. Oh shit through different uh, areas like I don't feel it at all crazy <laughs> yeah it seems like it ha still has uh, link issues oh well well but at least I can go back to the game I guess that's something Someone is already shooting. Let me go through the side. Oh. Jesus, so many weapons. Let's go down. Hell yeah, oh shit. <laughs> well, no shit. What's this? Who is shooting here? Oh, shotgun. Yeah? Yeah. So I'll substitute that. Is 
some ways on top shooting or what? Assassinated. Riggs, it's me. Hey, dude. <laughs> what? How? Vesper, how did you? You were dead. I spent days trying to revive you. Your entire neural matrix was melted. How? How are you here? How did you find me? Riggs, it's Eco. Vesper brought me to base camp and we got it running again. Since then, we've been searching for Nyx. I... I was too. The sprout broke off Nyx's plant during the attack. It was all I had left. I've been holding on to it. Aww. Just because I... Uh, anyway, I've been searching every day. Every single day for years. I've searched every Tempest outpost, every tower, just trying to find any trace of Nyx. I tracked a carrier ship from Cloudreach to this tower. I was sure this would be the one. It had to be. You should go. It's not safe here. I'll pack myself up and meet you back at base camp. Uh, there's something important I need to tell you. And Vesper... How did you manage to go? I don't know what happened. I don't know how you're alive. But it's just good to see you again. Hmm. Okay. May I ask a favor? Before you return to base camp, there is one more location I'd like you to investigate. Sure. I detected a brief but peculiar signal burst when you passed one of the other islands. It may just be a coincidence. But it seemed almost as if the signal was responding to your presence. I'm putting the location of the signal on your compass. It may be nothing, but I think we should investigate it just in case. <laughs> Epic sights. That's odd. I just picked up the signal burst again. But could it be coming from a human habitat? There must be something inside. Maybe some old human equipment that's still working. It could be useful to us. <laughs> some laboratory. Something's wrong. All my scans just went dark. I only have your visual feed left. Look around you. Is there anything that could be causing a sensor disturbance? Well, I guess this only, right? <laughs> wow! Aeon bots. Was this where it happened? Is this how they died? It was my fault. I shouldn't have. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You deserve to know the truth, Vesper. Mm. And I will tell you. These plants, these Aeon buds, I think they hold the key to defeating the Tempest. Mm -hmm. I think they can sense your presence. Try getting closer to them. That's it. Now, carefully. See if you can collect the buds. Echo. To a mod station. I have a theory about the Aeon Buds, but you're going to have to trust me. I've marked a nearby mod station on your compass. Go there, and I will explain the rest. Okay. Good. Here's the upgrade station. Oh. Now I know Nyx has been making modifications to these stations. If my theory is correct, 
Those changes were intended to harness the power inside Aeon Butts. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There's a whole custom interface built into the station. One that only responds to Aeon Buds. Nyx must have found a way to cultivate the Buds to enhance Android capabilities. Go ahead. These new skills could be useful. So... what's up like that? Aha, uh -huh, so like in different parts we have to unlock nodes because they are locked and we can like enhance things refinery damage highlight fatal assert weak point there's a lot of them like i can see now but what i would take because i'm a little bit like when i fight i worry about the ammo mostly because i will use shotguns pretty much all the time that's my weapon so I think it's way better to just... What's that? Shotgun and bridge cannon have increased ammo capacity. Yeah, pretty much. But like, can I afford it? Because... I have... Two Aeon Bats, but... I'm not sure if I can. So for example, right arm... And... Uh, no. It's right or left, because it's from my perspective, wait. Not sure, I will go with that. Uh, no. And shotguns. We can't even have growth to purchase this. Okay. So... Still half for new damage enemies. Yeah, that should it's be... Expert. Good. When you allocate Aeon Buds at the mod station, your plant grows, right? All the power it's feeding into your system grows oh, with it. Your okay. bioenergy reserves, your shield projector strength. There's more detail on the stuff in your index. Oh, okay, so we can't like... Now maybe it's time to go back to base camp and meet Riggs. Maybe it's not like we can't change, maybe in the future we will... We, we will change the module, but it's kind of like, we choose one and that it, that's staying. Okay. Yeah, because these seem like a unique abilities. But health still is fine, I mean... It's not like I wouldn't change that because that is, just makes sense. Um, because I don't want to carry around health pack all the time. But like, the next would be specialty ammo for sure. And what's more here? Extra life. Yeah, that makes sense also. Oh, it has a bigger recreation life. I think let's just not do anything for now. And I want to upgrade the ammo, so we need to gr like get the growth or whatever. So just camp. <laughs> 